Propaganda was a very big deal during World War I. This was how armies got people to enlist and even help in other ways during the war. There were mainly three different kinds of propaganda. There is the good, which is where armies tried to get people to enlist with positive propaganda. The bad, which is where armies tried to get people to enlist with negative propaganda. Then there is to neutral, which is where armies try to tell people to save food for soldiers. Pretty much every country used propaganda in war. Hi, I'm Ron Burgundy. Here is Sam Cole, World War One veteran. Thank you, Ron, for having me on the show today. No problem. Did the U.S. propaganda motivate you to join the war? Yes, I did want to help destroy the German beast that was taking our women and children, for sure. And can you tell us how popular propaganda was? Propaganda was on every wall and street corner. I mean, I always saw it all over the place, and propaganda motiv motivated a lot of people to join and help the war. America. Uncle Sam wants American men to join the U.S. Army. Uncle Sam was like the face of America back then and still is today. Women were also a big part in the war. They would work in the factories making ammunition and they would also send the troops food. This is an example of negative propaganda. The picture is showing a German beast taking American woman and the only way to stop them is by enlisting in the army. Dein Vaterland ist in Gefahr, melde dich. This means that your fatherland is in danger that you should notice yourself. The Germans thought of their land as the best land out of all the countries and it had the best culture. This means we're going to teach you how to run. Germany is referring to scaring the other countries so bad that they run away from fighting. This means the harder you work to fight, the closer to victory you get. The Germans wanted to push their soldiers like every other army to defeat the opposing enemy. The picture was mainly for people already enlisted but could have persuaded others to enlist. To stiffen the will to win, mass propaganda was used for the first time. This propaganda they told us about them killing women and children and one thing and another. They had a lot of propaganda about that there. The, uh, the Hun, you know. This don't. picture is meant to be a wake-up call to American men. The picture shows an American man having fun on the ocean, but he really should be in the war helping us win. To win the war, America needs everyone, men, women, and children. This was one of propaganda's biggest tasks. These pictures needed to motivate people to help the war in any way that they could. One of the biggest issues during the war was food for soldiers. So they even had a form of propaganda to get people to try and save food for the soldiers. The soldiers wanted people to at least save them food since they are risking their lives for death. 